we have a very healthy pumpkin or squash cake uh, with complemented with orange. Uh. And now we are going to enjoy. Huh? Let's take a look what it looked like inside. Ooh. I hope you enjoy like us uh, with a very healthy sweet cake but with a minimal added sugar. Uh. Okay, so after uh, the lunch uh, we have the we have the dessert, uh, um, almost sugarless um, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin. Uh. You try if it's sweet enough. Try. Yeah. Huh? Sweet? For me, it's good that sweet, huh? even no yeah. sugar. Well, it actually, it's not much oil, mm -hmm. uh, only the oil yeah. on the top. And it's delicious? Yes. yes. Success. Oh, it's, this is huh? another experiment, huh? Yeah. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Hello, lovely people. We have uh, <clears throat> a little squash. Uh, like a pumpkin, so now we, 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 we cut into two halves and we're trying to have a one pumpkin, two recipes huh? or, or one squash, two recipes you can either steam it or in our case uh, we would shorten the time, we'll microwave it to very soft okay? I mean steam it in the microwave so now we have a set aside um, one quarter of the squash uh, in a, for a separate recipe uh. and now we have uh, this squash already in the microwave uh, for uh, about six minutes and now it's uh, quite soft now you can see that it's quite soft and now we can collect the, the, uh, the fresh uh, like this uh, you can smash it and of, of course uh, they have some seeds uh, so we will separate it Take out the, the seeds, uh. all right, and then this one can go to the, the mixing bowl. Okay, now the seeds are removed, and again, <laughs> of course we won't throw it away. Uh, this is a very valuable stock, uh. and now we continue scratching. So, after scratching all the fresh, uh, we, we have uh, this uh, lovely uh, peels uh. again. Don't throw away, they form a lovely favor to our stock, vegetable stock, huh? so we can put it together. The squash or pumpkin, huh? and for ready for our use. We have a cup of a smashed pumpkin. Huh? And then we mash it. I think we have one quarter cup or one third cup. Okay, let's see how much we have. Maybe one third, uh, one and one third cup of a uh, uh, squashed pumpkin. Okay, we have a uh, one cup of flour. Huh? It can be all-purpose flour, uh, or uh, cake flour, or, or bread flour. But of course, bread flour would be more um, uh, plastic, huh? a bit more gluten. And now we just uh, uh, sieve our flour into the mixing bowl. We add uh, a pinch of salt. We throw in our, uh, our pumpkin uh, or our squash, uh, fresh, and now we mix it. And after all the flour is incorporated, then we can add our egg. Uh. Half of the flour is already incorporated, and we can add our egg. Now we can throw in the rest of our flour, another half cup. It's almost there, very good. It's already quite good enough huh? for us. This is quite good. And uh, actually the texture is very nice. And now uh, we have uh, half a teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Uh, soda. 
sodium bi sodium bicarbonate. Beautiful. Gotcha. You just collect all the flour, four of it. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, huh? Just half is enough. Huh? Okay, and this would add another level of aromatic huh? to the to your mix. So we have a, a cake container, huh? so we can uh, line it up with a uh, baking paper. And if you don't have, no, don't worry, any container will do. You can grease it. Huh? But this time, since we have some leftover baking paper, we can uh, use this baking paper. Okay. And so we can just throw in our batter. No sugar for a pancake or a cake. And this is what we are looking for, a natural taste. Shake out all the air bubbles. And meanwhile, we'll cut our orange. Like a windmill, okay. and you, we used to find one like this. But meanwhile, we will first bake it uh, for 15 minutes again, and then we will check. Uh, okay, we we'll send to the oven for 15 minutes, and then we we'll check again. Hi, dear people, we remember we have a uh, one squash, uh, one pumpkin, two recipe. So we are now using this uh, peels uh, and also the remaining seeds and then we create a stock first for our uh, for our congee, okay? Now this is, we will boil it uh, for maybe um, at least half an hour, 15 minutes to half an hour, depends. And then you would have uh, more flavor to come out. So after uh, 55 minutes, uh, 3, 5, three five okay. uh, the cake is like this, uh, expand, lovely. Remember friends, uh, up to this moment, we haven't added any oil or any sugar, uh, and this time uh, we have to add some uh, to make it more tasty. Uh. So we will put in uh, the butter, you know, the butter is like this, uh, very minimal. This is the only only oil we add uh, to this cake. Oop. This cake is now glossed with uh, butter. And well, this is the first time we add sugar, uh, so we just sprinkle some sugar on this on this orange pumpkin or squash cake. Just a very minimal sugar. A little bit of um, beautiful orange says just a half or maybe one fourth is enough just to give uh, some burns a little bit of burnt marks on this cake huh? and now we are sending it back to the oven again for another five minutes uh, five minutes we do just to toast the cake again um, Five minutes. Okay, so. so, hi friends. Uh, half an hour later, huh? We have uh, the peel and the pumpkin and also the seeds uh, have already, you know, after boiling, become a soup. Huh? And this is the base for our uh, congee. Huh? We just transfer the, uh, the, 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 the all the ingredients here, and then we return by. Uh, getting the water inside. After uh, retrieving all the soup, uh, now we can bring in uh, our pumpkin. And then we have to bring it to a boil uh, before we put in the oats. Uh, okay? Five minutes later, uh, 
This is the final product. Yes. Okay. It's the oil at a gloss to this to this cake. So now we have to wait maybe five minutes to cool down. Then we can remove all the baking paper. Hold. Okay, and then we can can transfer it to a plate. After five minutes, cool down. Like this. A pumpkin cake without almost no sugar, no added sugar.